Can you guess how far back Civil War reenactments go? Newspaper articles show they were happening as far back as the Civil War. meant as much for entertainment as they were to show civilians what war looked like. Company, halt. The reasons for reliving history still stand today. Oh. Hold. Many people do this for different reasons. Some like the gun, some like the history and so on. The thing about having people dress up and um, the people. It creates a visual image that people can hopefully put with their thoughts in their minds and it's easier for them to, to see and sort of relate. Today it's estimated that at least 30,000 people participate in these living histories. Most have focused on the role of men during the Civil War, but thanks to the 40 brave women of the Nancy Hart Militia, the reenactment landscape is changing. We really don't know exactly what it looked like with the ladies there in front of the soldiers, but when we have the ladies dressed out, holding the guns and standing there with the soldiers, it, it kind of puts that in your mind and makes it a little bit more real and uh, come alive for the their people and what it might have been like and what it would have felt like to have stood in their shoes. Please send out your commanding officers. I am the commanding officer of the Nancy Hart Militia. My name is Nancy Hill Morgan. Our men are at the war front and we mean to defend our homes and our families. The Nancy Hards could probably use their eyes with better effect than these old guns. Let me assure you, we are resolute in our commitment. And we know how to use these weapons. Do you see that I have brought our Confederate prisoners in front of my men? I repeat, we are resolute in our commitment. I do not wish to put you to the test. Shoulder. Shoulder. Arms. Oh. Parade. And rest. rest. And let us make an agreement. You and your men will not harm any of our citizens, nor will you burn any of our homes. We expected no resistance in LaGrange, but I see your resolve and I do honor your bravery. Your citizens will be spared. In fact, I will send out guards to protect their homes. In return for my request, I ask that you ladies lay down your guns. We will assume you are a man of your word. You really have to know where you came from to know where you're going. You don't want the people to forget, you know, what those that came before them did and the sacrifices they made. And that's a story that I think we need to tell time and time again. And, and hopefully it will inspire others to make sacrifices and to, to lead in times of hardship and alarm. And um, I, I just think that we just need to keep making sure that it doesn't die out.